Oh yeah, welcome back, Captain Colsa Outdoors with yours truly. And I am in beautiful Buell Park, Pennsylvania. Uh, I'm actually walking my daughter, pushing her in the stroller here through the park here, here for a family function. But I am in the background of some Canada geese, who I say I'm in the background because this is where they live. This is their home. These birds come through here every year in mass number, probably about 100 geese or so. And the cool thing about these geese is what we call uh, they're a resident population. In other words, they're here all year round and have been for probably some several decades. And that has given them the ability to flourish as a big, slow, reproducing bird population. But at the same time, it's slightly problematic. You see, when we hunt animals in Pennsylvania, it's not just because the ones that are tasty are the ones that are available. And honker sausage and jerky is just as good as anything else. But it's because we're managing populations of animals who naturally have a faster reproductive cycle or better living conditions than some of the other species found in the area. So when it comes to geese, ducks, deer, we're managing their populations based off of the number of predators that they naturally have, taking into account their reproductive success. So the thing about these geese is they're living in this kind of urban -y environment but they don't have many predators. So the moment that they wander outside of this place, even though they have a low reproductive uh, rate, in other words, they don't reproduce quickly, their population still has the ability to climb in size pretty religiously over time. So that means that there has to be some management practice because even a slow reproducing animal like Canada geese here uh, can get out of hand population wise if there's absolutely zero predation. So goose hunting is one of those opportunities to go out and do something very cool and for a lot of hunters, very unique. So in this video, we're gonna highlight some tactics for hunting Canada geese in a way where we're taking these resident populations and exploiting them when they leave their sanctuaries like this protected park area. Uh, and that also gives us an opportunity to not only keep their numbers in a healthy balanced check in order to make sure that they're not spreading disease and otherwise, you know, detrimenting themselves. Here on Man Nature Together, we're all about sustainable living. Whether it be for me, the nature of all of us, plus those Canada geese like I just showed you. So, enjoy this little episode, talking goose management and sustainable harvest. This is gonna be a fun one. Let's go hunt some Canada honkers. Oh yeah, welcome back, Captain Colso Outdoors. And we're out here trying to get late season Canada geese in what will probably be my last opportunity to catch geese this season, uh, flying through this area uh, for us to hunt. Now you might be looking at this area and thinking to yourself, this is the last place to have any similarity to where we saw those September geese uh, when we intro this video. But there is a common ground when it comes to those birds and the birds that we're gonna to try to hunt today. And that is their general survivorship and their analysis of the environment and where is safe versus where is not. So a lot of these big Canada geese have figured out uh, due to their overall intellect compared to other birds that if they nest in a proximity close to man, there's less hunting pressure than there is out in the wilderness, especially out on big open ag fields where the only thing you see out in those ag fields is typically trouble. We're in a spot here where we're actually on corn, bordered by a creek. And if you 
split yourself in between all the houses on either ridge side above this little low-lying floodplain corn were legally just the right distance away from all the houses and other occupied buildings and the geese know this so they come in here into this corn hang out on this creek and they feed and it's not a ton of birds but i've seen as many as 30 at a time uh, and more likely we'll see probably a dozen or so if they come in at all today but i got two buddies coming with me we're going to situate out on this corn with all this snow it's going to allow us to use silhouette decoys for contrast so we'll put a bunch of silhouettes out when travis and caden get here hopefully we can get these silhouettes set up and maybe smack a couple late season geese in an otherwise very unorthodox spot but got geese so it could be the right spot Someone was talking about their boots, and they had a brand that I never heard of anyone owning. Yeah. I wasn't sure if it was you or someone else. Are they the Bogs? No, I know I Bogs. These are nice. Yep, there's more geese out yeah. there. Yep, they're coming off my left. Keep your head down. There's more behind them. We're gonna let these land and let the rest of them come. Yeah, I see him coming in. Then trying to just land there. They're cupped and coming in. Carrying a baby. They landed a little up. So do not move. Okay. Ah, uh, watch him. <laughs> I just missed my stinking chair. Yeah, see them over there? They're coming in though. Are they? No, I have no idea actually. Oh. <laughs> like this. That's, that's why they're coming. They're coming to fight. <laughs> fight <laughs> 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 Do it right in front of us. They're gonna do it behind us. Let them land. Oh yeah, they're landing. Are they? Mm -hmm. Ready, Travis? Yeah, come ready. Hold on, hold on. Let them go down. Get the one on the left. or get the one on the right. Go. Yeah. Oh, hey, nice. Whoa! All right. Think these guys. Oh my thing. They're not gonna come out. Is that too far? Yeah. Okay. Um, hold on. Hold oh on. You tell me if I can. Uh, too far? Yeah, then okay. oh, this one. think boss that was pretty good yeah it was one of those mornings that you know I mean we saw a ton of birds uh, but the conditions that you need to actually have a successful goose hunt it's mathematical you gotta have the wind you gotta have decoys in the right place you want to have you know a numerical amount of decoys based on what you're seeing I mean 
you guys have been watching these birds. I've been watching these birds, so it's just a matter of time before we got the team up and let them have it. I mean, two's better than none, you know? So it's one of those hunts where even though you don't have a ton of birds, the odds were already against us, so it was pretty awesome to be able to come on your guys' channel, you know? Getting up in age a little bit, it's really cool to be able to be in a video with young guys like you guys pursuing your passions and making that happen. So, yep. this is awesome. Thanks for having me. Yep, thank you. I'm glad I could have guided you guys. Shoot straight, stay strong, this is it. We're done.